Hey what's is up guys? It is Suku, Sam here, and welcome Rebecca, back- Rebecca goddamn it, who told you that you could sit in front of my computer without my consent? Sorry about that guys, the asset we're reviewing today literally has text-to-speech in its trailer, so I got caught up a little bit. With our editor, you'll be able to create amazing human characters for your mobile games, create role-playing games, your editor, and all general animations. Oh and hey Rebecca, um, what's my name again? Suku. I swear to god, I'm gonna kill you in your sleep. Anyway, let's become family-friendly once again, because I really don't want to get demonetized on this video either. <laughs> but welcome back to the channel guys and today we're gonna be taking a look at the asset called Fantasy Heroes Character Editor Pro. And if you guys enjoy make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below it really shows a lot of support on the video and if you guys have any other assets you would like me to take a look at and make a review out of on my channel let me know in the comments and also subscribe if you're new around here and now with that being said let's check out Fantasy Heroes and see if it's any good. Alrighty, so as I said, we're gonna be taking a look at Fantasy Heroes Character Editor Pro, which the name actually suggests a lot, so I hope the asset is actually good. Which is an asset developed by Hippo, by the way. The asset is located under 2D characters in the store, and it comes with a price tag of $15. Now, the price might be a subject to change since it literally says on the asset store page that it's a special price for the new year. So I'm unsure of the full price, actually, but right now it's 15 bucks, so we're gonna go with that. And with this asset, you will be able to create human characters for your mobile games, and no matter if it's like an RPG, if you're making an arcade game, if it's a platformer, or any other kind of game that can can use this 2D type of art style, you'll be able to easily create multiple characters for your projects. Some of this asset's main and core features are creating and customizing human characters, changing body parts and their color, also changing equipment such as the weapons, shields, helmets, armor and much more. And it's, it also has full support for animations. You can also apparently mix armor parts. I'm not really sure what that means, but apparently you can create your own armors and like other type of parts, equipments, etc., and add them into your game by easily using this asset. It's also created mainly for mobile games and marketed as being mobile friendly, even though you can use this for any kind of platform you're creating your game for, because there are a lot of games which use this type of art style on PC as well. We're also gonna talk about the features a little bit further where we get into the pros and cons about this asset, but first and foremost, let's talk real quick about the developer response, which is the support for this asset. So the author is replying to all the reviews on the asset store page, it seems like, and he has an active forum thread running which is super and the initial version of this asset was actually released in June 2017 so it's not very old and the current version is at 2.0 which was released December 28th and like I said we're also gonna get into the pros and cons now before we get into what comes in the asset which is where we look inside of the asset in unity and for the pros part we can begin with that I think it's first and foremost obviously mobile friendly so that's always a huge bonus and it's super easy to edit all the parts and the equipments that come in this asset so if you want to cut customize your characters which is the main point of this asset. I don't think that you're gonna have a difficult time because I found it very easy to get into it and get started with it and there is in fact a built-in editor that was created by the author as well that will help you customize the characters and play all the animations that follow within so you won't really have to necessarily code everything it's pretty much ready out of the box. And for the cons part I honestly didn't find anything because I've been playing with this for like what three to four days now I think and I never really found any like difficulties with this I never found it difficult to work with it's very easy to get into it and it's probably the cheapest asset I've covered in this show thus far for the amount of quality and the content you get and it's insane to think that this asset is available for just $15 right now like even though I don't know the full price like I said before since it's nowhere to be found right now I can personally say that this would catch my interest even if it was priced at like $60 normally. Alright, so here we are in Unity and now we're gonna take a look at what you actually get when you open up the asset for the first time in Unity. And as you can see, we are also in the demo scene. This character looks so cute. I love the art style of this so far. Like this has been incredible actually. Um, as you can see, we have the root folder here. And then in here we have a manual that you can read through for a quick guide when you're getting started. We also have a script reference if you want to check it out. And for the folders, for the directors here, we have an animation folder, which is pretty much where all the animations are located. These are for the legacy ones, but you also have an animator component, I think. Not really component, but like the animator file itself so that you can attach to it 
it to a character that you're creating or one that already exists. So you can use that for reference and you can also obviously animate them yourself. It works perfectly fine. And then you have a editor folder which won't be that interesting for you because these are just for the editor script itself. Then we also have the prefabs folder where you get the dummy which you can see in the demo scene as well and you also have a drop down i think this is for the oh yeah these are for the um the menu itself so that's pretty much it and you as you can see there is also a little bit of ui that follows within this asset but i'm also gonna get, go into this folder soon uh which is for the ui but the author has also said that the full version of this ui doesn't follow within this asset so just be cautious about that it's it, it's literally stated on the asset store page so if you want to read that i'm obviously going to link it in the description so next up we also have the scenes folder which is where I found this demo scene, pretty obvious. And we also have a sprite sheet, so if you wanna, or a sprite sheet maker, apologize. So if you wanna go into this, you can obviously have it to um, pretty much just create your own sprites for the for the character, etc. So it's a little bit of different kind of customization, I guess. And we also have the scripts folder, which is where you get all these options for pretty much just editing the character. Um, if you wanna attach it to your own UI system, if you wanna have this kind of uh, this type of um, character edit editor, I think you could say, in your or character customization in your own game, you can use these scripts for reference or maybe even copy paste, I guess. So we also have the shaders folder, which is where all the shaders are located for the materials. And we also have the sprites where all the body parts, equipment, layout, and promo are located. I actually did not check out. Oh, okay, I see what the promo is. Yeah. So it's a promotional uh, promotion. You know what we say when it's all about promotion on our channel. Uh, just a little bit of sellout, you know, nothing wrong with that. Uh, so you can click these and it's going to link you to the to the other asset parts or asset packs that are created by this author. In the layouts folder, we just have the layouts for the body and the bow for, for the character itself. In the equipment, we also have the, the sword, the helmet, or actually not a sword, but we also have a melee weapon the shield, etc. And body parts, obviously, all the body, like ears, eyebrows, eyes, etc. Now, for the UI, uh, this is pretty much what you get from this UI pack, as you can see. It's also being used in the, in the demo scene. It's actually pretty cool of him to include in the asset pack itself, even though it's not the full the full version of the UI pack, it's still fine. I mean, you can use it for your own reference, obviously. And if you want to grab grab the complete UI pack, obviously there is an asset for that as well. So it's perfectly fine. But it's cool to include this. I'm actually liking this. Alrighty, guys. So that was what actually follows in the asset. Now, before we end this video, we're just going to have a little conclusion. And I'm going to talk a little bit about who would I recommend this asset to. So anyone making a game like an RPG or an arcade game or a platformer or whatever it might be, can make use of this asset actually. Honestly, it's super cheap for its quality and the quantity you get and has no constraints for what you can use and you can't use. If you're looking for a character editor with this kind of art style where you can customize all the characters and stuff, definitely check it out. And now with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed your time and your stay here. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below, just below the video. It really shows a lot of support and it keeps me motivated actually. And um, leave a comment, like I said in the beginning of this video, if you have any feedback, if you have any suggestions for what kind of asset you would like me to review and include on the channel. And if you guys want to keep up to date with new asset reviews, new tutorial videos, speed level design, and any kind of content that we upload on the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you stay up to tune. And also turn on that bell notification, which is going to be to the right of the subscribe button, I guess, I think, um, so that you don't miss out on new content, obviously. With that being said, Siku will either catch you in the comments or in the Discord server. Peace, Rebecca out.